Hello community, it is great that you are back. Today we're going to have three logical tests on Grok 3 Beta. Let's do our typical test. Let's paste in here our beautiful test here and we go here with Grok Beta. Span for details. Yes, we want to see this. Now Grok 3 is arguing here beautifully. So you remember this is a 7 times 3 matrix structure that should be deducted from some logical clues. And as you see, Grok3 is running through all of this. This is real time, we are syncing for 21 seconds. Okay. Artifacts assigned, okay. Clue 13, clue 11, yeah, it is syncing, yeah, beautiful. 31 seconds. Well, perhaps I can find more connection. 38 seconds, coming up 40. Okay, now it's getting interesting. <laughs> Close to 50 seconds, okay. Narrowing it down, this is nice, yeah. So something is remaining. What do you do with the remaining logical parts? Yeah, this is a problem for you, I can see this. Let's confirm this, okay, but wait. Okay, alternatively, but let's see if I can... Something went wrong. Please try again. Okay, so <laughs> it is not able to do it. Never mind, let's regenerate. It could not find a solution in the first run. Never mind. It is a logical puzzle for a one. So, we are again live here, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, right next to my beautiful coffee cup here. Sun is shining through the window. It's going to be a beautiful day. And we have a first logical test on Grok3. Let's see if it's able to find a solution right now. Looking for 32 seconds. Okay. Additional, yeah. If I can link some of those, yeah, come on. Wait, let's see the field again. Okay, perhaps I can for find more connection. Some fields are unique. Oh yeah, something went wrong. Please try again. No problem, baby. We try again. If you want, we try again. Regenerate. Clues are numerous, so I need to carefully piece them together to figure out all the associations. Okay, baby, you do it. You go for this. We are in the second, no, in the third try. So I think if he remembers from his failures, he should now really be able to come up with a solution because it is not that difficult. You remember even with a special prompt, GPT-4 Omni was able to solve this. Okay, 45 seconds and nothing. Nothing. System is, no, system is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go, we go on strong. Yeah, beautiful. We are coming up to one minute. Let's confirm it. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, beautiful. So, come on. Clue 14. We have 15 clues. Another one, just one more and you did it. One minute, eight seconds. Wait, actually, at this point, I don't know all the assignments yet, so I'll <laughs> have to keep it in mind, okay, yeah. Clue 15, we are done. So let's summarize this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, the, yes, yes, we are coming here to an end. This looks good. One minute, 30 seconds approaching. So here we are and... One minute, 33 seconds in the third trial. Wait, actually four, which I already noted. Some other links. Yes, maybe, maybe it got it. Look, let's see the artifacts. Yeah, actually it's not assigned yet. Uh-oh, it's not assigned yet. Unknown? Oh no. Come on, you can do this. Wait, so among the possible rooms is confirm. No, wait, let's note more, furthermore. Yeah, let's try again. We are two minutes and two seconds in. From clue three, let's see what artifacts are taken. But wait, actually, wait, it's so either. No, wait, I can narrow it down. Perhaps I can look at those. Hmm. From clue, now it's really trying. It's really trying. Two minutes and 20 seconds in. 
I can start assigning the field to their familiars. Let's list there. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Is this here the time threshold? Wait, no, actually, since each field is unique. Oh, wow. Wow, we got additional resources, ladies and gentlemen. Or we enter a loop. Additional resources or a loop, what do you think? I hardly can read it. Something went wrong. So three minutes is the limit, and I would say we agree it failed to perform this test. Never mind, Grok 3 Beta. You are just in beta, so never mind. The smartest? No, maybe not. Okay. So what we do? We do we we do a new chat. Yes, we do a new chat. Grok 3 Beta here. We are in deep thinking mode. Beautiful. And we have a simple task. No, we always have a simple task. So Simple, we are trapped in a skyscraper, you want to go to floor 30 and you have only certain buttons in your elevator, A, B, C, D, E. And each button does a real particular thing. And challenge, determine the shortest sequence of button presses to reach the floor 30 from your actual floor. However, there are two trap floors, so if you reach floor 13, you cannot press any other button than the button D. And there's a special function to button D, and there's a trap floor 22. If you land here, you're forced to go back to floor 10 only. You have to start all over again. So let's do this here in the deep thinking mode. Beautiful. Grok, now you and I, we both know that there is a six-step solution. So let's see what Grok 3 comes up with. Okay. Starts to understand the button. Button A. Okay. It tries to get a mathematical formula. This is this is nice. N plus four, yeah. Button C, button D, button E. Actually, the problem says double the number of floors moved might be. What? What does it mean? Let me confirm. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, the AI agrees with itself. This is always a good idea. So I need yes, and back to ten. Yeah, got it. You understood here exactly what I want to do. You cannot press, yeah, it understands now my instruction. Okay, we are still on the level of understanding my input. Yeah, if a button would press, something went wrong, please try again. We try again. We have no problem in trying again to regenerate this. See, it's the same topic. I changed nothing. Okay. Okay, yeah, there are also, yeah, Modulo 3, yes, real nice, yeah. Yes, okay, this, this looks good now, no? Look, it immediately understands, so in the second run now, the first run failed, but never mind, we give it a second chance. So now you see you got it. The system understood what's happening. Look, it's trying to build now this time series if you press the different buttons. Oh no, we are not in a mathematical formula, we are... Now going step by step. Oh. Okay. So it's trying out the sequences. It's down to nine presses. Something went wrong. Please try again. And we are giving it a third try. Yeah, no problem. Everybody has three chances here. Thinking, yeah. But let me expand this for you. Let's start by understanding the problem. Yeah, this is good. I'm on the ground floor, floor zero, and I need to go up to floor 30 using the elevator five buttons. Each button has a specific rule for how to move the elevator. There are some trap floors. It got the, the task. So first I need to clarify the rules for each button because some of them seem a bit... Yeah, <laughs> yes, I know, my little one. Wait, this is a bit confusing. If I'm on floor N, pressing button A, move me up to N plus one floor, so I would go to floor N plus one, N plus one, two, N plus one, Divisible by five, it gets sent back to n half, but might not be an integer. So that is okay. So it's trying to get there. Never mind. Take your time. We are now 49 seconds in. Okay, I think. Yeah, it I would say that it kind of failed this two test. What do you think about? Well. This is a standard test I did with all other models. I have five, six different videos here on this particular test. 
with the other models. So this is the first time that both models, that both tests completely failed. This is the first model that failed both tests. But you know, we want to help here, Grok. So I choose now the, the easiest logical test I have here. And this is a test here, I think from Stanford, it's more than a year old. We use this here on GPT-4. So we have a set of rules. Those are artificial words because it would it should be unseen data. So you have some rules, then you have here two facts and then a simple query. Hey, is this person has a, this particular property? So we have activated here the deep thinking mode. So let's go if we have here luck with the simplest of my logical tests. Thinking, yeah. So I have a set of rules and facts, and I need to figure out this particular case if this person has a particular characteristics. The facts, yeah, this is correct, yeah. And the query is, is Alice Wope? Okay, we've got the instruction, beautiful. So let me rule list the rules again for clarity, beautiful. So it really understands these are my rules that I have to follow. So this is the simplest case of a rule following logic. We are not anywhere near neural network territory. This is a simple rule-based logic. Yes, yeah, beautiful. Thinking for 38 seconds. Yes, okay. 17 rules. This is correct. Uh, all right, I need to find out if Alice is whoop. Yep. So let's go and let's start here with the logical deduction. Okay, rule 7. Okay, wait. Actually, the rules are general, not specific. It's safe to assume that the rule says Alice is A and Alice is B. What? Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, the reference point. Okay, yeah. So what can I infer from this? Yeah, oh, yeah, now it, you see, now it's on the move. Yeah, it's that. This is the flow that we are looking for. Grok 3, come on, you can do this. So, yeah, I don't know yet. Wait, actually, I can find out more. Beautiful. I'll get to determine if she is this particular characteristics. Wait, I don't know if this is happening. So let's check. Yeah, beautiful. So is that correct? Rule four says, okay, let's confirm this. Yeah, beautiful. So it seems almost straightforward. Yeah, this is, I, I am a straightforward guy. This is so beautiful. I'm simple. One minute, 50 seconds. We are approaching two minute reasoning of Grok 3. Yeah, similar, I already have, but wait in my early deduction, but wait again, so my earlier chain is correct, beautiful, therefore the answer is true, there's a statement, wait, I'm using since, since, therefore, alternatively, perhaps, let me find the facts. Okay, we have it, 2 minutes, 10 seconds, okay, for the simplest test, so here we have it. <laughs> Interesting, the, the logic is gone, I just have the answer right now. Determine is what we start with the facts, given facts with, yeah, this is correct, the rules. We'll use the following relevant rules, okay, from the 17, but only 7 are selected, and the other rules exist, but we'll focus on those applicable based on the facts and derived properties. Uh, this is now interesting that you only accept 7 rules that are valid for this case, but something went wrong, please try again. We do a regenerate, upgrade, no. You have reached your limit of 10 Grok thinking question per 24 hours now. Please sign up to premium. 10 Grok question per 24 hours. This is generous. Thank you, Grok. This is nice. But I have to tell you, you failed all three logical tests from the simplest to the most advanced. This is not really what I say that I personally would use now this system for causal logical task in scientific questions. What do you think about this? What are your experiences? Why not leave here a comment in the description of this video and maybe you even subscribe because for sure I will test it out more.